Hi, this is Dan with Retronyms and welcome to The Build, where we showcase development on different projects. Okay, today I'd like to talk a little bit about what the development of Wedge. Let's talk about the different pieces of, of what, goes into, what goes into Wedge. First of all, there's a power supply, and these are all development versions of, of what we're going to miniaturize down to be the final product. Okay, so the different pieces are, we have a USB hub. So there's two USB ports on the uh, Wedge. So we we do that by using the same uh, standards and pieces of what a USB hub is. Um, and so on that, we have uh, just two external uh, controllers connected here. And then um, the hub goes into a uh, USB host chip. So this is a uh, standard component from the Arduino universe. And uh, it, it basically um, does all the work that a computer normally does to uh, make sure that all the timing and data and everything is being communicated in the USB system. Then, uh, then we go on to a really simple microprocessor. It's just a very basic uh, uh, computer, but what it is is the brain of the whole thing. So it takes all the MIDI messages coming in and sends them out to other things and controls all these other components. So then over here, we have the uh, Bluetooth module from Punch Through. And this is a development board that allows us to access this chip, which ultimately takes the MIDI messages using Apple's Bluetooth MIDI protocol and sends them over to the phone. We also have um, the lights that are on the front of the um, wedge. These are, uh, these are interesting because inside each one of them is a microcontroller, a little chip that basically controls the brightness of the red, green, and blue LEDs. So that way we're able to connect this whole thing to one long, basically control wire, and we're able to address any one of them with a protocol and the microcontroller and each one picks up the, uh, the messages and controls the lights. So basically all these components together make up the wedge. And so we have to program this chip to be able to speak the Apple Bluetooth stuff. We have to program this chip to make sure that um, all the MIDI messages coming in go to the right spot. Um, in this schematic, we're, we're basically putting the final touches on it right now, and we're gonna release it on the blog, so if anyone's interested, they can take a look. Okay, so the next thing um, I thought I'd do is I thought I'd just kind of show how it's working. This is just GarageBand right here, and, and uh, right, I just have to go to the MIDI devices section and connect. It connects right to the system wirelessly, so there's no cables coming out. And then both these controllers. Right, so we're able, just for a demo, just to make sure that everything is kind of wired up and working correctly, I can control each of the lights individually at a really high frame rate, no problem there. And uh, you can kind of see. The other thing that a lot of people have been asking about is latency. So what we've been doing to test latency is we get a, um, just a digital recorder. What we do is we just start recording and then we hit a pad. And what you can see in the waveform is you can hear the finger hitting the pad and then you can see the uh, note uh, come out a little bit afterwards. Even if you touch the screen, the same thing happens. There's a click of the finger and then the sound. And so our goal is to get the latency down to the point where it's better than what we're seeing on the screen. There are some limits to how low we can get it, but we've, the latest tests, we're, we're getting about 50, 40 milliseconds. And the screen is usually a little bit slower than that. One of the things I do while I'm developing this is uh, I call Lewis over to uh, kind of push it to its limits and make sure it's feeling well and the latency and jitter are, are under control. So I um, thought I'd kind of show, show how that works and have Lewis come over and play a little bit. Thanks. Okay, so stay tuned and we'll be posting more information about this as it goes along and uh, you know, hopefully make more videos and um, post some things on the blog. Thanks.